1985, one haunted attraction has stood the test of fear. While the COVID-19 pandemic has been pretty scary, the monsters, ghouls, and goblins of Kersey Valley Spooky Woods are back and ready to leave you screaming into the night. ABC 45, Samir Nefsi has a story tonight. Hidden in the hills of the triad sits one of the scariest haunted attractions in the state, Kersey Valley Spooky Woods. Not only can you come here and get scared out of your mind, but you can do it all safely during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's wonderful because Halloween is a season about visiting and sharing with your community. And people come from all over to experience the frightful show in Archdale. The yearly haunt was just selected by USA Today as a top haunted attraction in America. It's not an easy title to hold with more than 3,000 haunted attractions in the country, according to AmericaHaunts.com. We earned this by being malleable. The haunted house industry is a continuously evolving and growing industry. It changes so drastically, so quickly, like most industries. You won't find Leatherface, Michael, or Freddy anywhere here. We are inspired by folklore from around the world, but we try to cater that to make it work for our environment. In a pre-pandemic world, the show would bring on a staff of about 400 people. However, that number has been slashed due to COVID-19 concerns. By bringing on fewer performers, there's more space for social distancing. So the idea is to make sure they're going to get a very enjoyable, realistic, theatrical show that immerses them in this frightening reality but still in a fun and careful way. While masking is not required at the haunt, it is, however, highly encouraged. It'll take you a terrifying 30 to 45 minutes to make it through the attraction with no shortage of spooky sets, eerie sounds, and chilling scares. So the question still exists. Are you ready to come and get scared here at Kersey Valley Spooky Woods? Well, you have until the end of the month to do so. You can head on over to abc45.com for ticket information. Reporting in Guilford County, Samir Nafsi, ABC 45 News.